Welcome. So today I'll be making a certain chemical I've been wanting to make for a while now uh, called iodine monochloride. Now it's an extremely dangerous chemical and during the chemical reaction that I'll be doing today to synthesize this chemical uh, we'll be dealing with a lot of dangerous chemicals and gases such as chlorine gas. So don't try this. Okay, so I'm going to first start with the ingredients. We have 10.6 grams of potassium permanganate here. We have about 13 grams of iodine here. I made this in my other video if you guys remember. And we have 50 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid, meaning it's around 30 to 40%. And now I'll show you guys my apparatus that I'll be using to make this chemical. Hello, again. So this is my reaction vessel. I know it's a bit beefy, but basically here we have a chlorine generator. I've put 50 milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid in there. And it's gonna slowly drip down in here. And here we're going to have our uh, potassium permanganate in here. As you can see, I've blocked off any places where the gas can escape. And the chlorine gas is going to come through here. And then it goes in through this tube, goes in here. Now, this is also blocked off with a rubber stopper, perfectly fit. We're going to diffuse this into concentrated 98% azeotropic sulfuric acid. And the special thing about sulfuric acid is uh, it's hydrophilic and so it will extract and pull out any of the water that is inside the chlorine and that will basically dry our chlorine gas because sulfuric acid doesn't react with chlorine gas then it goes to another adapter that I have made as, as you can see it's, this place is also blocked it travels through that tube through here to this area where it reacts with the iodine and all the excess chlorine gas come through here and it's makeshift adapter here travel through another tube into this solution of concentrated sodium metabisulfite which will hopefully neutralize most of the chlorine gas and make sodium bisulfite as I said, don't ever try this you could die most likely you will die, actually. Chlorine gas is extremely toxic, even in the smallest amounts. And I will be wearing gas masks that are made specially to deal with chlorine and hydrogen chloride. So I am safe. And as I said, don't try this. First, we'll charge the chlorine generator. As you can see, the hydrochloric acid has, is already there. And now we just got to put our 10.6 grams of potassium permanganate. I'll remove this clip. Take off the stopper. Add that on. And we will now add our potassium permanganate. Nothing shall generate at first. That's because we haven't added our chlorine yet. that on there we go our chlorine generator is ready next we will fill our desiccator with some concentrated azeotropic 98% sulfuric acid I just want to make a disclaimer here I use a rubber tube but don't ever use a rubber tube because it reacts with the sulfuric acid That's our desiccator. Okay, 
going to sit on back and as you can see, this is how I dine, monokurai. As you can see, it's not very much because we didn't use too much uh, iodine to actually make this. And it's impure. So what I have done here is I'm going to distill it over. And in this flask, we're going to have our pure iodine. And then we can put it into our pure and react it with some chemicals. Now, you may be asking, why don't I have a water circulation going through this tube? And that's because iodine melts at 27 degrees and it boils at 93 degrees. So anything in the range of about 50 degrees is going to turn this into a liquid. So there's no point in cooling this down because we don't want it to crystallize because it crystallizes below 27 degrees. I'll be back once our distillation is complete. Distillation is relatively done, as you can see. We still have some small amount of droplets around here and even in the condenser tube. But it should be fine. And that's about all we have in here. It's iodine monochloride. And yeah, as you can see. There we go. And now I'm going to make an ampule to put that inside. And here's our glass tube for the ampule. And I'll be back once I make the ampule. Iodine monochloride. And in my next video, I might react this with titanium metal and other types of metals, metal powders, or maybe I'll make some bromine. Maybe I'll make some bromine. I've always wanted to make bromine. And it's also very similar to iodine when applied as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, I guess. And I'll see you in my next video.